Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today. If you guys like the video, make sure to smash the like button. This video, I have an idea talking about uh, what if we never had the evolution of combat update? This got me thinking a lot with this new HDO or not HDOS, the 117 plugin for uh, RuneLight. Got me really thinking the HD uh, RuneScape here. Got me thinking what if the evolution of combat never came out? and like where we'd be it's crazy to think that the EOC came out in 2012 that's almost a decade almost at the end of this year it's going to be a decade since the evolution of combat has been out and uh, it's really crazy to think because it really doesn't seem like it's been that long. But, you know, time flies when you're having fun. But, um, yeah, overall, um, if the evolution of combat didn't come out, where would we be today? Would we still be playing the original RuneScape, uh, how it was and how it has always been? Would there have been good updates? You know what I mean? Like, what would have happened to the game? Now, these are just kind of like my opinions. And uh, feel free to leave your own down in the comments below. But, um... Yeah, just I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now for sure the biggest change that would have happened is we never would have had old school runescape. Oh my god, there's a dragon in bling. We never would have had old school runescape to begin with in the first place. And if you think about that, that's actually crazy because there would have been no, you know, demand for it. I mean, sure people, you know, played private servers and things like that to replicate old school runescape, but there was no huge demand for it in the community, you know what I mean? Or else everyone would have just been playing private servers at the time. So there was no like huge demand for it we we mainly wanted the old combat system back you know what i mean we would have been we would have been fine with like a, a remake of like 2010 2008 something like that but we got 2007 and that's kind of the backup that they had which was which was different and really odd because it was in a time where crazy high intensive graphic games were coming out at the time and it, it just seemed like it wouldn't work and even the people at Jagex thought like this is just going to be a little six month project that we can work on and it's going to fade out and you know eventually die out and to their surprise it's fucking huge we have like what four times the players of uh evolution of combat does and even now that EOC is actually coming more popular now which is which is good but uh, I think we still have over the over double of their players like their entire total players in general and uh that goes to show you that there was definitely a demand for something like the combat system being changed and that might not mean we all wanted 2007. I remember when 2007 first came out. Here's the thing, I started in 2009. So if I started in 2009, you know, I wasn't used to the old school graphics. I never played the game without a grand exchange and this is way before Iron Man mode or anything like that ever, you know, came out. But uh, I, you know, I always had the Grand Exchange. I always had the HD graphics. So for me, going back to something like old school RuneScape was, you know, brand new to me. I've never had these graphics before. You know, I saw them all over the internet and things like that. Of course, I played it. And of course, I had fun with it. But um, it didn't really appeal to me at first as much as, as much as it did for others. And I know a lot of people are turned off of this game only because of the graphics. And... It's kind of a shame, honestly, so I'm hoping this RuneLight HD, you know, makes kind of a little bit of a difference for some people to play anyways. The thing is, if we never had the evolution of combat on RuneScape 3, would RuneScape 3 or whatever the hell it would have been called at the time, like, I don't, you know, I liked RuneScape 3, I didn't like the EOC update. All RuneScape 3 was, was, you know, changing, like, you could change your interface and stuff like that. Kind of cool, kind of cool, you know, it wouldn't have been completely game-breaking or anything like that, but... Say we never had any of those updates, um, would the game be even bigger today? Because I think it would be able to go to more of a broad audience because of just the graphics and just, you know, it's more of a modernized game. People look at old school RuneScape that have never played it and they're like, why do you play that game? You know what I mean? There's so many people that ask me like, why do you play that pixelated game? But no matter what, there still would have been microtransactions. RuneScape 3 makes so much money off microtransactions. They make a lot more on running runescape 3 than they do old school and we have double the player base if you think about it that way that's how much money they make off their microtransactions there still would have been that in the game and that still would have made a lot of players unhappy and a lot of players quit 
and um even just with the skills like you know summoning and then they had invention and all those random skills to engineering and stuff like that it was just some of them didn't fit into a game like runescape for me anyways um you know invention is just way too overpowered um and then they have that new one archaeology i'm trying to think like if you know we never had eoc we never had old school if there would have been other skills you know like sailing or something like that that we kind of always joked about but um it's very interesting to think about um how differently the game would be and you got to think about how many updates have come and we're just so used to and things like that because of old school that we're never even in runescape 3 like there's so many that i can think about just off the top of my head really like there's the farming guild there's all the bosses like pvm as well pvm really changed with old school it wasn't as big in runescape 3 before i mean like there's still tons of people like doing like the queen black dragon and stuff like that but pvm really took off and i think pvm is just so much better in old school like there's so many different bosses like zalra you know what i mean we've got vorkath we've got hydra we've got all the bosses and things and don't get me wrong now there's so many new and odd bosses on runescape 3 like i can't even think of their names honestly because i haven't ever done them on runescape 3 but there's more like group bosses and things like that that i know but those bosses are only possible because of the ability bar and stuff you know like i think it's really interesting how many different bosses and how many mechanics like the inferno for example that they made possible with the mechanics of old school runescape and they could have done that back in the day they definitely could have made something like the inferno made something like vorkath made something like zalra they just you know they didn't you know they needed an ability bar and to train all these random things i mean the qbd the queen black dragon was a pretty cool fight honestly it was kind of like a mix between like zalra and um forecast if you really think about it it's like a big dragon that shoots out all these random things has all these special effects has like the waves it kind of is also like that dragon from the dragon slayer 2 quest and like just all the new quests as well it's crazy there's so many different quests and storylines like both of the games have like a complete different storyline to them you know what i mean um like the whole way that the questing lore is is totally different from old school to um runescape 3 and i mean it's really cool how they kind of got like a redo so things that they didn't really like about the way they made the game they can like change that with old school and kind of make it exactly how the way the game was maybe you know supposed to play out maybe this is exactly how the game was supposed to be really if they didn't make dumb updates like removing the wilderness stuff like that you know removing the free trade um this is maybe how the game was actually supposed to turn out maybe with just the better graphics and things like that this if you know the guy who actually made the game andrew stayed at the company maybe this is exactly what the game would have ended up being like similar to it anyways i mean wouldn't have been exactly the same but uh without the evolution of combat it actually we there's so many possibilities still with bossing and stuff um and people are saying you know we need a rework of the combat system but you know like look they made the inferno like that's insane like with this simple combat system you know they could have just looked at it different ways and uh you know made changes like making better bosses and stuff like that rather than saying oh to make better bosses you need an ability bar but overall do i think the game like would have grown i mean you know it would have been a steady growth like the whole time like it would have been always you know going up or staying the same going up staying the same people quitting but there would always be people joining i think it would have been a lot easier to get newer players because of the graphics and you know because it's a newer modern game if they had like old, uh, runescape as just like one game and no evolution of combat i think a lot more players would eventually you know try it out maybe but this with old school is a way to actually keep a community because we get every single thing we want in the game i'm just trying to think like would we all still be there playing the game today like a lot of us like i mean we would have been playing the same account for you know 20 years now and uh we we'd all be maxed you know what i mean we, there'd be nothing for us to do you know and just because of old school there's been so many updates that have been implemented in the game like iron man for example that was never even a thought before old school runescape you know what i mean can you imagine playing the game without iron man mode now i can't that's for sure i don't even know if i'd be playing old school if there if it wasn't for iron man mode so there's been so many good updates that have come because of old school runescape and i'm wondering if old school runescape never came out if these exact updates or these kind of things would be implemented into runescape 3 or runescape 2 i guess it was at the time or would they just focus more more on like you know 
trying to make money for the game because if they didn't have old school runescape they would have to like push the um mtx a lot more or whatever the hell microtransactions a lot more so i think that game would be full of microtransactions to the point you know where with the school of fortune or whatever it is the treasure hunter you can just like buy xp and buy stuff i think like uh it would just get even worse i think there'd be like a familiar that's a bank or something like that i always thought that was really funny and i thought they should have made that with runescape 3 just a familiar that's a bank that you're just a little pet like a pet banker that walks around with you you know what i mean that'd be really funny but uh, overall, I'm really glad that Old School RuneScape came out and all of the updates that have come with Old School RuneScape have just made the company RuneScape a lot better overall. And um, I think if they just kept it and not had the EOC, it, they'd be worse off right now. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I think over the long period of time, they would still be growing and they'd still be gaining new players a lot easier. But at the same time, like... Uh, we have the game exactly how we want it right now and they just have to listen to the community more you know the game's awesome the graphics are outdated of course i don't understand why they weren't allowing you know hd that's what we want we still want the exact same game you know we just want slightly better graphics we don't want a fucking uh ability bar and think about how far we would be on those accounts as i was saying we would have been playing them for like 20 years like if i was still playing my main account for that i first started in like 2009 i'd probably have like 200 mil all you know what i mean just from uh playing the game for so long and they would need to really push updates more and more and it they'd probably be able to get out more updates because they would all be focused on the one game but it wouldn't be making everyone happy. I think it's good that we have kind of a split split community and that half the people play old school and half the people or, you know, a quarter of the people play uh, RuneScape 3 or whatever. It's very interesting that there's two different games that are the same game and that they can use old school as kind of like a, a round two, you know, the without the mistakes. So they just got to keep old school pumping like that and you allow more updates. I really think they should allow more HD passion projects to come out and kind of like... What the community wants is what the community should get, you know what I mean? We should be able to play our game exactly how we want to play our game. That's why there's two different games, you know? If you want to add these crazy random ass updates, put them into RuneScape 3, you know what I mean? Where there's no polling systems and stuff like that. But uh, if old school RuneScape players want to play their perfect game, but within HD or, you know, have something that they want, then I think it should definitely be allowed. And um, yeah, that's overall my opinion. I think... Uh, if we if the evolution of combat never came out we wouldn't have had these awesome updates with old school we wouldn't have had iron man mode and uh i think the N mxt or the microtransactions would have been pushed way too far and i don't know if we'd have the long lasting you know the uh elite players that have been playing for years and years and years i don't think we would have them anymore if they never came out with old school because i know most of them moved over to old school we'd still have you know the random ass og players the 20 year capes and stuff like that but i'm really glad that old school runescape came out and gave us something new something fresh i think that's also kind of what we needed as well a fresh start some people are playing their accounts for so long maxed you know like i said like i would have had been ma max in 2012 10 years later what am i what am i gonna do 200 mil all you know what i mean so overall i think uh old school was probably the best update that they've ever really had to the game in a brand new fresh start and then so many new ideas to implement but uh let me guys know in the comments down below if you guys think any differently if you think the game would have been you know way more successful if they just never made eoc and just continued the main game but uh yeah i think it's something to think about for sure i think about it quite often actually but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video today and i will catch you in the next one see ya later